What if I tell you the way I'm crossing my arms can tell you four things about me. First, I'm left or right brain. Second, I use one part of my brain or both to make decisions, meaning that I'm emotional and rational. Third, I'm ready to sign the contract or buy the product, whatever you sell it to me because I'm so excited and I want it to do right. And four, if I don't want to see you ever again. Myth number two and the things that are being ta taught you wrong in sales training. Do you know when I know that I'm about to close a really good deal? When my client about on the call of action close their arms, look straight to me, their feet are pointing me and their legs are pointing to me. Why? When you cross in your arms, is coming the process of intervention that comes before observation and interpretation. What I mean with this, research has found that when we move your extremities across in the middle, the opposite side will start of the brain start working. You see, remember when you get to that boring class of yoga and they make you to do this? You know why? Because it's the only time your two parts of the brain working together, except when you're dyslexic, guilty. So when a customer about in a, in a delicate point when his call of action is closing their arms, the good news is they're using 30% more likely to keep trying to solve a problem or make a decision than those who keep their arms hands on the table. The act of crossing their arms utilizes both left and right part of the brain creating a highly cognitive function. So we have two ways to read how the brain works. If I cross in my arms, I look in a straight at you, I tilt my head, and my body's still facing you, I just thinking, so shut up. One of the biggest problems that I have with my sales trained teams is they don't know when to shut up. Two years in a mouth, 80% listen, only 20% talking. Now, the other option is when they cross their arms and they're pulling the body away and they do an expression with the, with the face and they start facing the lower part of the body away from you. That's when you need to start talking. But what happened in most of the trainings is they tell you, if somebody crossed their arm, you lost it. Actually, I want more sales in my pitch, in my contract, when a person crosses their arms about when the call of action is happening, than when they keep the arms on the table. When they keep arm on the tables is because they don't have anything to think about it. It's nothing cognitive happening out there. So done crickets. Meaning that probably the answer coming after is gonna be a no or they have more questions or let's talk later. So next time there's somebody tall you crossing your arms is bad uh, please send them to me. If you want more training about how to use body language for video and start reading faces and getting all these tricks and whistles and how to connect with people, check the link below. My name is Susan Iwitz. I'm a Yoma Mihira hacker. Some people have computers. I have humans. And this was Sales Intelligent. <laughs>